Here we have problem number 21. So let's read the given value, given problem. So we have uh -huh. remain of time to finish so it's total time. What is run's average acceleration for the entire race? Okay. Uh, so let's write down what is given there. Sorry guys, this is so problem number twenty one, right? Mm -hmm. So we have again uh the road which is divided by into two parts, we don't know. So the it's accelerating. So we have acceleration one and he is accelerated in a time one which is four seconds okay then maintains his speed so that means a2 is equal to zero because v is constant constant okay uh, so total distance d total is 100 meter okay d total uh, then uh, total time that is needed to cover whole distance was 9.9 .9 seconds. So we have to find the runner's average acceleration for the entire race. So we have to find V, uh, sorry, A average for the entire, so average total. Okay, what is the average acceleration for the total? So first of all, we have to know that when we want to find the average total in this case, the formula will be A average for the total will be delta V divided by delta T, okay? Delta V will be V final minus V initial divided by uh, T total, okay? Why? Because T final minus T initial gives you total time, which is 9.9 .9 second. Okay, um, so what we have to know first. The first of all, let's look at the, this is D1 distance, which is covered in the first part, right? So how can we find D1? D1 is equal V initial time 1 plus A1 T1 squared over 2. So initially was 0 here, right? Then we have V final, which is also equal to V final here because V is constant here. So this is equal to zero. So we end up with D1, which is A1 T1 squared over two, correct? So let's put the numbers. So A1, we don't know. So A1, we don't know. T1 is four seconds. So four squared over two multiplied A1, which is 16, eight A1. Now, what is a T2 then? What is a T2? So T2, T total is equal T1 plus T2. So from there, T2 is equal T total minus T1, correct? So that means T2 is equal, total is 9.9 .9 seconds minus T1, which is 4 seconds, which gives you 5.9 seconds, okay? So, T2 becomes 5.9 seconds. So, let me write down 5.9 seconds, okay? So, what is after that? What we have to do now? Then, we know that D total is equal D1 plus D2, correct? The same like the previous one. So the total is given 100. So D1 is what? D1 is 8A1, correct? Mm -hmm. Then uh, D2, we don't know, correct? So plus uh, D2, if you make it D2, D2 was what? D2 is let's find the d2 then so d2 will be equal uh if it's moving with constant v final with v final therefore we have v final times 
T2, correct? For a D2. A v final, how can we find V final then? Uh, time 2 is, we already found it, so V final will be equal to the, uh, from first part, from the first part, V final is equal V initial plus A1 T, correct? So initially it was 0, so therefore we end up with A1 T1, correct? That means A1 is... We don't know, so let's keep it as a1 multiplied time one was four seconds, so it means four a1, correct? Correct. So therefore, eight a1 plus d2 is equal to the v final was this one, which is four a1 times t2 was five point nine seconds. So let me calculate it. <coughs> Let me cal calculate it. So, uh, 5.9 multiplied to 4 gives you 23.6 A1. Okay. So, now we found uh, 8A1 plus, we we'll bring it here, 23.6 A1, which is equal to total distance is 100. Correct? Now, if it's equal to the 100, then we all should bring up, we all should bring up here, which is 23 plus 8A gives you uh, 31.6A1, which is equal to 100. So the A1, if you divide it, 100 by 31.6 gives you 3.16. Okay, so now we found what is our A1, okay? So if it's, that's the case, then what we have to do after that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, since we are trying to come to this formula, correct? Where we have to find what is V final, V initial. So V initial, obviously it was moving from zero, so it's zero. So how can we find V final then? So V final, which is defined by this formula, correct? So V final is equal A1 T1. So A1 we found it, uh, which is 3.16 and T1 is 4 seconds. So let's multiply it to 4 seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives you 12.64. Okay. So that's it. Then A average total is equal delta V over delta T, which is V final, which is 12.64 minus 0 because initial it was staying at rest. And delta T is T final minus T initial, which is total time, which is 9.9 .9 seconds. So 9.9 .9 seconds. So that's it. If you plug numbers, you should get the answer.